be back again. Um, so, a good story. You've been thinking about good stories. You've been thinking about what makes a story good. And there are four main elements that make a story good. And these are, first of all, the characters. Secondly, the setting. Thirdly, the plot. And finally, the theme. Theme is probably the word that is most commonly mispronounced by students in Japan. And I'd just like to help with the pronunciation of this word, theme. Uh, it's not tema. And to explain the pronunciation, we need to just talk about the magic E. Now, you may know about the magic E. You may have heard of the magic E. And let me just explain. So let's start with just four simple words. Hat, kit, not, cut, and them. And if we take these words and put an E on the end, what happens to them? Well, hat becomes hate. Kit becomes kite. Not becomes note. Cut becomes cute. Now this is the magic E, and you may you may work out what the magic E is doing. Uh, it's changing the sound. So the magic E changes an A sound to an A sound. It changes an E sound to an I sound, so kit becomes kite. It changes an O sound to an O sound, so not becomes note. It changes an U uh sound to a U sound, so cut becomes cute. So I guess it's going to change an S sound to an E sound, which means them becomes theme, uh, not tema. Tema, in fact, is a German word. So the Japanese word tema does not come from English. It comes from German. And in German, tema is the word for theme. So anyway, uh, back to your uh, stories, back to the main elements of your stories. And those elements are characters. So characters are very important for a good story. Not just the good characters, not just the hero or heroine. The bad characters are also important. So when we think about Harry Potter, of course, Harry and Ron and Hermione are wonderful characters. We also think about Snape and uh, Malfoy and the, the bad, evil characters as well. Setting is important. A story must be somewhere. It must be in a time and in a place. And good stories have a very strong sense of where the story is, of where it's happening. It feels like a real place. Sometimes it is a real place. Sometimes, for example, fantasy stories are set in imaginary, made-up universes. And even so, those places feel real. They have a lot of depth to them. Uh, next is plot. Um, I'll talk about plot probably another time, uh, but plot is important. And basically plot revolves around two things, conflict and resolution. So in a story, very simply, something bad happens and then it's fixed. Finally then, the theme is another important part of a story. So, um, theme is ideas, topics, concepts. So, what I'd like you to do is start thinking about ideas for a story. I'd like you to write a story. So, I'd like you to start off with ideas. And um, one idea is not enough. Five ideas is better. If you think of five ideas, that's better than one idea. Probably it's still not enough. They may not be very good ideas. Um, if you have ten ideas, then one of them is good. Pr probably. Hopefully. Maybe. 
Uh, but start with, start thinking of many ideas. If you have many ideas, then you'll have more good ideas. If you don't have many ideas, then you end up with very good. So where do ideas come from? Where are you going to get your ideas from? Now, most stories come from other stories. So most ideas for a story are adapted from other stories. They're set in a different time, a different location. The characters are changed. That's where most stories come from. Um, some stories come from your life. You may have a story that you know about. Some stories just come from your imagination. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I don't have a very good imagination. But everybody has a good imagination. You need an imagination to communicate. If you can understand what I'm saying, that's because you are imagining what I'm thinking. So in order to speak language, in order to understand language, you must have a good imagination. What you need to do is just practice and use your imagination and then it will get better. So uh, everybody has an imagination, including you. So when I say ideas, you need five ideas. What do I mean by ideas? Well, an idea could be a plot. It could be a character. Maybe you have an idea of a person, a hero, who you want to write about. It may be a time and a place. There may be a particular location that you want to write about. Maybe a theme. Or you may just have a title. Maybe you have a good idea for a title. What is your story going to be called? Or more likely, um, it will be some combination of the above. So it's a plot in a time and a space, or a character and a theme, or an idea and a plot, or some combination of these two. So start thinking, what ideas do you have? Um, and what I think you should do is start writing down some ideas. And uh, make a list or write down, take notes. I usually take notes on my computer. I usually start writing an email if I have an idea. Um, I have over a thousand half-written emails. Maybe, um, so start with writing. You need at least 10. Uh, the next lesson, I'd like you to bring at least five ideas with you. So by next week or the week after, you're going to need to bring five ideas. Um, there's a forum. And I'd like you to add at least one idea to the forum. And um, there. Oh, one important thing is I don't want you to choose your idea yet. So don't start thinking about writing the story. Just think about ideas and try and get many ideas. We can work out the details later. We can choose the story later. You may even want to choose somebody else's idea. Somebody may have an idea that you like, and you may have an idea, and someone else may choose your idea. So don't choose yet. You're going to choose the ideas later. You're going to choose the story later. Start thinking of ideas. When you add to the forum, add, so add at least one idea to the forum. Um, when you put your idea in the forum, put the title in the subject line. Put a title in the subject line. Write an English title. So try and think of a, a title in English and write the idea briefly. You don't need to write a lot. Um, and when you do write in the forum, the um, capitalization is important. So whether you use big letters or small letters. Uh, the first one is what's called sentence capitalization. The first letter is a capital letter. At the end, there's a full stop, period. The second one is title capitalization. So basically, big words have a capital letter at the beginning. Big words have big letters, small words are all small letters. Um, the next one is called all caps. Now we don't use all caps very much in English. Uh, it is used if you're writing a newspaper headline. So in a newspaper the headline is in, in capitals. Generally capital letters are like shouting so you should use them sparingly. When you're writing in the forum with your ideas for stories, use sentence capitalization or use title capitalization. Please don't use all caps.
Um, I look forward to seeing your ideas. Good luck. <laughs>